Hello friends, welcome back to It Came From A Vlog, I'm Kate, and today we have another very messy room situation to tackle. Riley's room is a disaster and it needs to be dealt with. As you can see, everything is strewn all over the place and even though most of these toys have a home, they don't often make their way back to their home. Just like we did for Holden's room, we're going to purge and clean, get rid of all the clothes that don't fit, all the toys that are broken or not played with anymore, and just tidy it all up. This is my annual tradition of cleaning and purging pre-Christmas, because even though we do our best to be restrained with the toys, it inevitably ends up being more than we planned for. Even though I would consider myself a bit of a minimalist, Sergio is definitely a maximalist. And if you've ever met any children, they're certainly maximalists too. I yearn for the old days when kids had like five toys and dolls made out of corn husks. Yeah, it probably wasn't very fun, but of course they could spend time outside playing on the streets with their friends without worrying about being kidnapped and having 24 hour parental supervision, but here we are. And because Riley is a little bit older, I'm going to bring her into this process so that she can help tell me which things she wears, which things she wants, and what she's ready to part with. That's enough for me. Let's get started on tackling this mess. My first step is to handle the clothes. I know it's the thing that's tucked away in the closet and in the dresser, but it is something that can easily start getting out of hand. Then we'll deal with all the stuff on the floor. And then the surfaces. We'll see if we can get through it today. If not, we'll do more tomorrow. Let's Keyboard donate. Key. This is where. Keyboard donate. Key donate. We've already been sorting for about an hour and these are still more clothes that need to be gone through. This is what's past the cut and I have been going through this stack. This crazy stack of just, I mean look at it, mm. has to be thousands of small toys. I mean it's excessive, it's crazy. I've been going over an hour here and I still haven't even 
barely made an impact in this pile. That's how much there is. Right now I'm trying to separate these LOL surprises and put them in here. These are the ones that I've actually found full body sets for and these are yeah. just decapitated. Oh no, she's fine. And these are just a bunch of decapitated heads and bodies that need to be found their matches. And I'm sure there's a ton more LOL surprise stuff in here too. This is, this is a lot. This is more than I bargained for, you guys. You sorted through the Barbies and these are the ones you're gonna keep? Yeah. All right, so we got the clothes done. We have the Barbies done. We still have a ton of little stuff, but maybe we can do the furniture first. took your bib off and now you're so messy. Now you're messy. <laughs> the massive stack of small things is slowly shrinking down. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so now all the little accessories that we're gonna keep are gonna go in here besides food stuff, which we have in here with Shopkins and food. Some semblance of order is emerging. on our first day we made lots of progress we have lots of Barbie accessories in here and clothes and all the matching shoes only in this bag this is still empty for other things all the food and cooking Barbie stuff Barbie dolls themselves are put away lol omg surprise dolls put away furniture's in the bin but we have a huge bag of donations and a very full bag of trash. But there's still lots of stuff on the floor and the surfaces are a mess. So that's what we'll have to tackle tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right, good job. Yeah. Day one. Okay.